Hey, it's me, Fashion Coder, and today we're going to be talking about the Bitcoin halving. Now, why are we talking about this? This is a topic I did not understand for seriously the longest time. And honestly, a lot of crypto topics I didn't understand for the longest time because I just didn't put the time and effort into actually learning them. Or I would just ask my dad to help me with whatever it was, which was a great alternative for me. But I think that this is a great opportunity to jump into it because we are in quarter four of 2023 and the next halving is actually probably going to happen in 2024. So what is the Bitcoin halving? So what happens is when someone is mining Bitcoin, they get rewards for, for mining it. And what ends up happening is they get a certain amount of rewards. So the first time for the first four years that people were mining Bitcoin, they would actually get 50 Bitcoin from it. Now, as time has gone on, when the halving happens, that number gets cut in half. And so the last time that it happened was in 2020, and the current number is 6.25, and the next one will probably happen in 2024. Now, it's every 210,000 blocks, and a block happens about every single minute, and so that's why it's predicted to happen like that. Now, from the total supply, 21 million Bitcoin will eventually be circulated in the system, but right now only about 19.5 million is circulated. But as you can tell, if the number is going down that much every single time, then it's going to take a bit of time to get to that. So if things remain somewhat the same within blocks and everything, the predicted supply being out fully is actually 2140. So the numbers are probably going to be alive, <laughs> which is honestly a good thing. But that is a long time until that happens. And once they're, the supply is gone, it will probably just have like miners get transactions fees. So what does this mean for us in crypto? And since the halving is going to happen. So what happens is, you know, less Bitcoin is being produced. So there is a de decrease in the supply. And then from there, if the demand remains the same or if it increases, there is going to be an upward movement in the price, which is awesome. And just typically, as we've seen within these other cycles, is that there's an upward movement in anticipation of the Bitcoin having, because I mean, you can go check and see like what blocks are where. And then also within 12 to 18 months after a Bitcoin having, that's when the exponential price increase will happen, which is kind of cool. And I think that's actually why a lot of people are predicting that the bull market is going to happen in 2025, which, you know, can't go wrong with that. So that's what the Bitcoin having is, is it is something that happens basically every four years. It is something that decreases the supply that's being circulated into the system as blocks are produced. And it's something that could potentially increase the price, which is really great for everyone that's in crypto. Right now we are in a bear market, which is a great place to start and build. Obviously not financial advice, but Take this, do your own research, and I hope you have a good day.